I got a wild idea. It's just a proposal, but hear me out. What if we stopped making stupid people famous? I'm gonna keep this brief because most of y'all already know by now how I feel about feeding into backlashes. Nine times out of nine, it means we're just giving the offending parties what they want. And more to the point, I'm not mad. I'm not outraged, I'm bored. These people are boring. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about this situation without naming the offending party in the hopes that I can at least mitigate giving them any more free publicity. The entire point of them doing what they did was to get free publicity and I don't wanna play into that hand. And I'm sure a lot of you will already know who I'm talking about anyway from the thumbnail, so we see each other. For the rest of you, what I will do is I will leave links in the description box to other YouTubers whom I do support and they've already done videos in much greater detail than I'm going to go into today talking about these people in case you're dying to know exactly who I'm talking about. I just implore you to not go and seek out the channel itself because again that is exactly what they want. I'm talking about a family vlog channel today and it's looking more and more like family vlog channels are in fact the worst slum of YouTube. The family in question has a black male patriarch and he is married to a biracial woman. I'm gonna call them the Chode family. The woman Mrs. Chode is half black and half white. She has light skin and green eyes and here's a photo. Based on the little bit that I do know about Mrs. Chode, and quite frankly I wish I knew even less, it seems that the only thing she has to offer is being light-skinned. This family, the Chode family, is currently embroiled in a blackface backlash because Mrs. Chode decided to prank her husband by disguising herself as a ghetto girl Uber driver. Never mind the fact that this prank makes absolutely no sense because one, how dim do you have to be to not recognize your own wife in blackface and two, to not recognize your own car. But her disguise involved her putting on a foundation that was several shades too dark and clearly meant for someone with deep brown skin, bright pink lips to go with the dark skin Sambo style, and I don't remember what else because I do not care. I have a policy of not commenting on people's appearances when I get into disagreements with them because as soon as you resort to insults or calling someone ugly or whatever, you've lost the argument. However, this woman relying on her beauty to be her strongest attribute would be a lot like if I relied on my no edges to be my strongest attribute. And bitch, that ain't a read, I'm just browsing. Two of all, which is more important, she's the one who keeps bringing her looks up and insisting that she's some kind of prize. The gag of this whole prank is she didn't need to change her appearance at all if she wanted to look ratchet and unprofessional. Her husband, who is of course dark skinned because that's always the way, he's just another one of these black men so brainwashed by European beauty standards that he's convinced himself that his wife is all that just because she's light skinned. Go ahead, play it, take that L, she's all yours. From what I have seen, this woman's entire sense of self-worth is rooted completely in her racial ambiguity. She's the type who only wants to count as black when it suits her purposes. But in reality, her behavior makes it quite clear that she doesn't want to be associated with black people, her black side, or blackness in general at all. So for the people defending her saying, oh, how can it be blackface when she's black? She's not black. She is half black and she's made it abundantly clear that even that half is too much for her liking. After I did that video a couple weeks ago on Chappelle's uh, new comedy special on Netflix, the racial draft sketch from his Comedy Central show came up in my YouTube recommendations. It got me to thinking it might be time to have a racial draft for real for real because this woman, this woman clearly wants to be all white and frankly, y'all can have her on the house. I don't spend my precious clicks on fuckery, so I have not watched the Chode family's video directly, nor will I ever watch any video of theirs. I've said before and I'll say again, I am far more offended by things that are unfunny, like this whack ass prank, than I'm offended by racist colorist dip <coughs> being racist colorist dip <coughs> The only thing that does bum me out is that there are three kids being raised in that wretched household and they've also got a very young, impressionable audience. And unfortunately, we can't call CPS because they haven't yet criminalized stupidity. As long as we're talking arguments for criminalizing stupidity, we have this other YouTuber who's been in the headlines lately, and she will also remain nameless. But the YouTuber in question is in hot water for wearing a box braided wig when, surprise, surprise, she ain't black. Insult to injury, she actually knew she was dead wrong from the jump because she made some kind of whack ass apology in her introduction, in her debut of this terrible braided wig. She then proceeded to invoke her Native American ancestry as justification for her braids, thereby contradicting her own self since she had more or less already admitted to appropriating black culture. So which is it? 
Pick your troll. Worse still, she can't even troll with originality. We've seen this exact gag before by another professional troll with the whole braided wig and then the, oh, braids don't belong to anyone. Anyone can wear braids. It's appreciation, not appropriation. Madam, what we would appreciate is if you would stop trying and failing to rip off black girl swag. This is a person who not too long ago when she was exposed for edgy tweets, which were really just racist tweets. She claimed no accountability whatsoever because the tweets in question predated her transition and she was quote, literally a different person. Well, I got news for you. Both of those people are assholes. Being transgender doesn't mean you're somehow magically excused from being a dumbass and a racist. And yet here we are allowing these imbeciles to become net famous, funding their Botox and bad decisions one click at a time. I'm feeding into the problem by making this video, but I really want us all to rail against this outrage marketing and professional trolling the next time we see it. Don't give them what they want. Don't give them the clicks. The next time we hear about one of these kerfluffles, and trust me, it'll be soon. If you do decide to devote any of your precious energy to the situation, do it by supporting the people who are worth your support and are maybe just discussing the situation, you're for Harriet, your I am Elohos, rather than giving your clicks directly to the assholes in question. Don't support the trolls responsible for this bullshit. Support the people who are commenting and calling out the bullshit. Because if anyone is gonna secure the bag behind some free, it ought to be them. That is it. Your girl is bored and tired. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys are doing well. And before I go, I will leave you with one gentle reminder. And that is, Never trust anyone with a Morphe code. Bye-bye. That's a, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs>